Well, Miranda has had a really crazy journey. <laughs> she was in seventh grade and alternate on varsity, so she got to go down to state with the team and that kind of stuff and experience that even though she was an alternate, she didn't compete. So she got to see the live action of all the funness, and then she got injured. Um, she blew her ACL at a young age, and um, so uh, that took her out for a little while. And then she recovered from that, and then started the varsity, um, I can't even remember what grade it was, 8th, 7th or 8th grade, but then she has been a very strong gymnast when she was healthy. She, up till this year even, has struggled in and out with minor injuries, um, besides that her knee was a major one, but minor injuries that kind of took her out of things. So when she is healthy, she is a dominant asset to our team. Right now, um, she has a little bit of a strained shoulder, and so she too hasn't been fully super duper strong, so we're hoping tomorrow is that day. <laughs> so she can be full strength with us, because right now when she hits full strength, she'll be one of the top all-rounders in the state of Minnesota in Class A. Um, but we're trying to get her back healthy to do that. So when Miranda is bubbly and on fire, and our team just thrives on it, um, it she is a very bubbly person, and the girls can definitely tell um, when this is the day she's gonna thrive because it just is a contagious, bubbly feeling. So, yeah, it's, I love the happy Miranda because um, when the days that aren't as bubbly, you can definitely tell the vibe. So, no, it's, it's great and she's been really good at that this year. She's really brought, most days when she can, due to her body, um, bring her A game when she's able. We're excited to see what the rest of the season brings for her. Because we're, we definitely need her to be on her A game in the end here for her and our team.